All right, this is chapter seven, lesson five, write and solve division equations. So when we're solving division equations, since multiplication and division are blank blank, use multiplication to solve division equations. So like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division is also an inverse operation. In that blank, you're going to write inverse operation. Okay, since division and multiplication are inverse operations, use multiplication to solve division equations. In the equation, a divided by 4 equals 5, where a represents the monthly allowance, means the monthly allowance divided by 4 equals $5. Okay? So, I can, let's take a look at a couple of examples. The first example I have, have says solve a divided by 3 equals 7. That bar, the fraction bar, also represents division. Okay, so I can check my solution. Method one, I can use a model. So I model the equation A divided by three and each one of these parts equals seven. Okay, solve the equation by working backwards. Since A divided by three equals seven, seven times three has to equal A. So A has to be 21. Method two, I can use symbols. A divided by three equals seven multiply both sides by 3, and I get 21. Then I can check my solution by substituting in 21 for A. 21 divided by 3 does equal 7, so using either method, the solution to my problem is 21. So, the multiplication property of equality. If you multiply each side of an equation by the same non-zero number, the two sides must be equal. So in numbers, if I multiply 3 by 6 on each side of my equation, I would get 18. Okay, so 18 equals 18. In algebra, if I multiply both sides by 4 in this instance, I'm getting x equals 28. I'm doing this to both sides of my equation, so I'm maintaining the balance in my equation. Remember, solving equations is all about balancing. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you not must do to the other side. So, when you solve an equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the same number, you are using the blank, 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 blank. In those blanks, you're going to write multiplication property of equality. Let's take a look at an example. The weight of an object on Mars is one-eighth that of its weight on Earth. If an object weighs 45 pounds on Mars, write and solve a division equation to find its weight on Earth. So, the weight of an object on Earth divided by 8 equals the weight of the object on Mars. Variable, let W represent the weight of the object on Earth. And my equation, w over 8 equals 45. Okay. I got this because I'm dividing the weight of the object, w, by 8. And that equals its weight on Mars. So, w divided by 8 equals 45. I multiply both sides by 8. When I do this, the 8 cancels out here on the left side of my equation, and I'm left with w. And 45 times 8 is 360. So this means that the weight of an object on Earth, if it was 45 pounds on Mars, is 360 pounds on Earth. All right, there are a couple of try problems out below. I want you to go ahead, pause the video, try them out, and when you're done, we'll go over the answers together. All right, now that you've had a chance to try out the try problems, let's go over the answers together. So letter A says, C divided by 3 equals 9. For this one, I multiply both sides by 3. So C equals 27. For letter B, 16 equals H divided by 4. I multiply both sides by 4. When I do this, 16 times 4 
is 64. For letter C, 23 equals A divided by 2.3. I multiply both sides by 2.3. So 23 times 2.3 is 52.9. For letter D, 20 equals B divided by 15. I multiply both sides by 15. So 20 times 15. Three hundred, so B equals three hundred. For letter E, Nadia and Destiny picked a total of ninety apples in a third hour. Write and solve a division equation to find how many apples they could pick in one hour. So for this, they picked a total of ninety apples in a third of an hour. So I'm gonna let A represent my apples. So A divided by three is ninety. Okay. Then I'm going to multiply, so A divided by 3, because that's the apples they picked, in a third of an hour is 90. Okay. Multiply both of these sides by 3, so A equals 270. So Nadia and Destiny can pick 270 apples in one hour. And that is the end of Chapter 7, Lesson 5. It's also the end of Chapter 7.